Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome back to Simply Niqua. Today, I have an awesome book review for you guys this week. Well, it's like a book, whole book series that I just finished and believe me, this you gonna wanna hear what I gotta say. So, sit back, relax, and continue watching. But before you do, if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of book reviews and a lot of new books and a lot of old books. So, please, please subscribe if you want to listen to some book reviews that I do. And they're also spoiler free, just so you know if you don't know. And go down below and give this video a like in between throughout the whole video. Sometime, give this video a like. But other than that, let's get started with this book review. So with this book review, it's going to be a little different. It's not going to just be one specific book that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to talk about a whole book series as a whole. So there were three books total within this series. And I just finished the last book. And the ending of the last book was like wow and so shocking and a lot of things happen so let's continue on what is this book and what is it about so the book that i am talking about today to you is by megan march and it's the sin trilogy so book number one is called richer than sin book number two is called guilty as sin and book number three the last one is called revealing in sin so as a whole, I'm going to talk about all three. What is this trilogy all about? Basically, it's about two families in this, I guess, smallish-ish town. There is a, a richer side of the family who kind of basically owns a little bit of everything in this town. And there's also the other family who doesn't really have that much money as the richer family. The town is named by their last name. So the richer family, there are the Raskoffs, and then the less richer family, there are Gables. So the Raskoffs and the Gables, from generation to generation, um, always had like some kind of beef to one each other. Raskoff disliked the Gables, and the Gables disliked the Raskoff. Like you, it's, it's like a danger zone. Don't even talk about it, okay? If you do that family, don't even think about talking to another family member and the other family. So there's always this kind of beef that these two families have and everyone known it as well. So this book revolves around that but now the two main characters of this book is Lincoln Raskoff and Whitney Gable. They met at this a bar and not knowing who is who they liked each other and once they known who that person actually was the next morning things just started going south but at the same time it was like different for Whitney and Lincoln like they wanted it to be together and didn't care about this beef that these two families have because they knew what they had with each other and this book just kind of like t continues with telling their story from beginning to end. For anyone who hasn't read this book yet, I'm giving a very basic description of this book. This book was very loving, has that romance aspect in this book, but also it was very intense and suspenseful uh, in a way that you just didn't know what you was gonna read on the next page or the next chapter and what was gonna happen. And when things did happen in this book, you were just like shocked, literally shocked that these characters were developed and they did what they did in this book. It was pretty crazy and you just couldn't stop reading this book because you just want to get through the craziness but the craziness made you want to keep reading so let's talk about more who these two main characters are so let's start with Lincoln Rascroft Lincoln Rascroft is from the more richer side of the family in this town and he is the older brother of two and the tradition in their family is that the oldest sibling gets to be the CEO of their company. Lincoln is very strong-minded and loving. At the same time, he's determined and he gets what he wants. And he also works for what he wants as well. He doesn't use his inheritance of being in that richer family get to his head and he works for what he wants. Then there's Whitney Gable. She is loving and caring and does anything for her loved ones, but she also let others like take over her life in a way. So just so that her, the ones that she loves doesn't get 
the hardship of an outcome and so that's why I say she's caring in that way but also she lets I guess not she, at the beginning she lets people like walk over her and like control her life a little bit and it's kind of hard for Lincoln and Whitney to be together or want to be together because um, their families already have this beef with one each other and it's just like it was hard to want and hard to have the relation in the open and she didn't want to be hidden and um, so Whitney kind of just was very strong-minded independent but also caring within this book it goes within Whitney's and Lincoln's point of view which is lovely I love that I love to that I got to be in Lincoln's mind and Whitney's mind because I am allowed to see what's going in their head and see their emotions and feel their emotions but also this book went from the past so we got to see what was all this beef about what was everything about the strictly deep detail of everything this book is about and then it went to present so it went back and back and forth uh, especially strongly within the first and second book and then it, it kind of just stayed in the present in the third one um, because it got caught up really at the beginning of the third one I love that aspect because we got to see what more of the beef was what everything was about within their family but also more deep detail of Lincoln and Whitney back in the day because it kind of was a danger zone for them because their family and then they rekindled it and all that kind of stuff so it was good to see that story even though you want that present story but it gave you those added details that you needed to fully understand Lincoln and Whitney's story. The main things that I got out of this book and the lessons that I got out of this book is to not let people control your life in an aspect that you really felt like you really missed out on life or missed out a part of life. Just like do things that you for your loved ones that you think that will keep them out of harm way, but don't let others like run over your life. Other lesson is like go after what you want and don't waste that time that you could have memories and you could have wonderful moments don't ever waste that time because you might not get it back but if you do have a chance to get them back grab hold on to them and don't let them go and also if you want to be with someone be with them even though there's some kind of beef in a family just be with them if you and that person can be happy that is what all kind of things I got from this book um, like I said this book is very detailed and you get everything and it's very suspense and like drama and but romance and it's like you just don't know what's gonna happen throughout the pages each book has about 50 something like it was like 54 55 chapters and the last one of course had an epilogue and which I if, if you know me and you have listened to some of my other book reviews I love a thick book and for the all for all three books to be 54 55 chapters <laughs> I was in love okay in love um, and just as much I was in love with Lincoln here this book starts in the mind of Lincoln and you are just hooked well at least I was hooked with this like the backstory and being in Lincoln's mind and you just soon as you start reading you just like feel sorry for Lincoln and you just wanted to learn more and need to learn more and as each of the book ended you know how like if you watch Harry Potter and Voldemort got the Elder Wand and it's like it ended with that each book of this ended like that it's like I needed each story now and I wanted to just to keep reading that's why I had to keep buying these books because they're so good I'm also glad that these books are out now all three of them are now so I was able to like so I was done with one I was able to buy the next one and the next one till I was done if you haven't read this book series or haven't um, dipped dive into Mega March's books before, like this is a good book to dive into another Arthur and to dive into another series. Um, this is beyond amazing and beyond good. I, I love this book. I love this whole series. It didn't let up. I, even in the last book, it was shocking, and I I I, I didn't. 
everything was happening the last few chapters of the last book I couldn't believe what I was reading each book something happened and it was like a movie like I, I wish this was a movie and it was just so good like I really really recommend you to read this book I love Megan Monster's books and her books always look around about like 50 chapters I really love that a lot of her series was like beyond good as well she's one of my favorite authors among of a lot of authors so do you definitely will have a treat when you read the sin trilogy and all the three books you just a lovely treat please 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 go ahead and pick these books up and read all of them these are so good and i really appreciate you to click on this video and, and listening to my opinion about these books so grab these books up so you have the chance to read them too so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already go down below subscribe to my youtube channel so you can have all kinds of other book reviews that i do throughout the weeks and the months like i i do a lot so go ahead and subscribe down below and also give me a like if you know you like this book like my review you like this thing go ahead and give this video a like but i'll catch you back next week with another awesome video but other than that catch you later Hello.